once mighty army of Azeroth lay among the blackened and charred remains of Stormwind Keep. Those that escaped fled across the Great Sea, bringing tales of the suffering they had faced at the hands of the Orcish Hordes. to engage in battle once again, the orcs constructed ships of war to bear them across the Great Sea. The orcish warriors yearned for the sounds of battle to fill the air and looked to the far horizon for new blood to spill. Using the weapons forged by their new allies, the humans made haste to prepare for the onslaught. While dwarven cannon were being loaded, others armed themselves with elven steel and mail. Hey, welcome to the second best uh, Warcraft 2 LP on YouTube. The first one is taken over by Kand, and I just can't beat it. But he did finish it, so I get to finish it before him. That piece of shit. The Horde is preparing to launch an assault against the mainland of Lordaeron. Orgrim Doomhammer, war chief of the Orcish Hordes and ruler of the Blackrock Clan, has ordered you to establish a small outpost on Lordaeron's southern shores. To secure the Zul'dair region as Doomhammer demands, you will need to construct a barracks and several farms to feed your troops. Your success may help us determine the extent of the pathetic human defenses and what resistance they can offer against our forces. All right, welcome to the game. I was really inspired by my by my good friend Ken. Ken Ken did like the best fucking let's play for this ever. Holy shit, dude! Literally, I just I can't top that, and I didn't want to do it for the longest time. But you know what? You know what? We're finally doing it because yeah, mostly it's because Blizzard's remastering a bunch of games. And I'm like, hey, they may do Warcraft two one day, so I might as well do the classic kind of game. Uh, you know, mainly, mainly for that reason. We're just gonna do the first mission here, which is basically just to like fuck around and make some farms and shit. I'm gonna speed up the game to like maximum max right now. We're not gonna play the game like this the entire time, probably just one off max. Might as well just clear the map though. But you know, I, I've watched Ken's uh, LP several times, and I, I think I'm I think I'm ready to try and uh, match his uh, skill level. You know. Anyways, it's more about this game. Uh, I I played it. Pretty much a lot when I was younger, I guess. Um, not much really to say. Also, you can fucking spam click. Yep, you can spam click. But yeah, I played this game a shit ton when I was good. I even played actually Warcraft 1 as well, but the only reason you don't see me doing that is uh, that game is really fucking slow, like painfully slow to like a huge degree, like you would not believe. Uh, it's still good, it's just slow. So that's the only complaint I really have about it. I mean, it's not really even a complaint. We need to make some wood. So we uh, we have two resources. We have our gold here, and we have our wood. And you can get more gold mines. Yeah, Warcraft 1 had, like... Y you can only have one... Uh, what's it called? Only one town center. And so if, like, the gold mine was, like, over here, you have to, like, walk all the way to it. And they have some interesting options as well. Um, I mean, we got subtitles and all that kind of shit on. Uh, game speed, I have it right now to fastest. Usually I'll play it on, like, this one, which is, like, uh, a little bit off fastest. And I didn't mean to close that. And we have this this stuff. We have mouse mouse interface, Warcraft 2 style. Warcraft 2 is more like basically kind of like StarCraft. This is when they kind of modernize their engine. So, but the, I guess they weren't sure if people would like it. Uh, so, I mean, we just play with Warcraft 2 style. Warcraft 1 is horrible. Um, okay, it's it was a good game. Okay, well, 
it you have trouble microing in that game like you would not fucking believe. Uh, terrain info, I don't know what that means. Uh, color cycling, obviously, we went on. I don't know. I don't know what that does either. Uh, and fog of war, you can turn that off because that this was a relatively new concept, um, which is the fact that things could be darkened. So we're going to keep that off just because we, we love the surprises. I think I just need uh, 500 more gold. We gotta go. We gotta race around here, patrol. Holy shit, they're fast. So some people say that um, Ken, uh, to this day, is still doing uh, accent therapy where he's trying to find his accent again. I mean, it's a terrible thing, you know, you're British and, you know, all you have is your accent to, to do anything and you fucking just lose it right off the bat. Do I have everything? Yeah, we win. Okay, good. Alright, we'll save it as fuckface. I'm a slave. Slave to Ken's awesome videos that we'll never beat. Uh, uh, let's continue. Our spies report that a band of human soldiers have captured a war party led by troll commander Zul Jin and have taken them to a secret prison near the township of Hillsbrad. Seeing an opportunity to place these captives in debt to the Horde, Doomhammer sends you to ransom Zul Jin and his trolls and return them to their own encampment nearby. The war chief believes that this raid upon the unsuspecting prison will strike terror into the hearts of those who would dare resist the Horde. I fucking love the voices. Alright, let's just turn down the, the settings by a little bit and we're gonna bring everybody with us. So we actually have, this is actually the first like modern uh, RTS game that they did make. It was insanely popular actually. They sold like, I don't know, 30 gazillion units or something, I don't fucking know. But it was really, really good. Um, they didn't have, I guess, the advanced technology that the StarCraft engine had in terms of like, saw the triggering systems and things like that, but it was still really good and we lost a unit. The can went to lost a unit, but I did. Kind of just better than, than, than everything I do, fuck. Alright, and now we got some... Our, whoops, our token ranged unit, but for some reason that... They didn't even care. Can you guys fucking come? Alright, for some reason he's not in that control group. I'm trying to micro them. Holy shit, the pathfinding. So, these guys are a little bit weaker, they got like 40 HP or something, but they're like, they're ranged, so they're good, so you basically would tank with that. Uh, it's actually, you know, the difference between human and, and orc is actually not huge, at least until later. It, then, then it's like the magic that basically, uh, the later game units that uh, separate the units. Fucking microing like a king. Okay, fucking APM. Actually, this is not the right way. But they actually have like proper control groups and stuff, thank goodness, and there's only like 9 units that you can select. This is way before, I mean they had 12 in StarCraft uh, 1 when you think about it, it's not even that much. Are right, you guys ready to basically bring everybody into the beacon? Zug Zug. Alright, go in guys. Do, 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 do. Oh, there we go. We got it. You just bring, I guess, the hero. Oh, shit. I didn't even say, say who, who this hero was. Whatever. It was a fucking hero, okay? He was a cool guy. We didn't save our game, even. Still a slave to Ken. Let's be honest. It's just going to stay that way the entire time, to be honest. In preparation for a final strike on Hillsbrad, the War Chief directs you to begin construction of facilities for the Orcish Armada near the South Shore region. Zul'jin and his trolls, eager to take revenge upon the humans who imprisoned them, have agreed to aid the Horde by supplying axe throwers and destroyers to assist in defending your South Shore operation. A shipyard must be constructed in order to build our wave riders, and you will need much of the black liquid known as oil to build your fleet. Our assaults on Hillsbrad cannot begin until your task is completed. Alright, now here's where the fun begins. I love the naval combat of this game, even though it's not necessarily that great. Um, it, it has its rough edges, mostly because you can't win the game just by doing... Uh, Oh yeah, there we go. Go kill that guy. 
So these guys have a bit of a damage range, like 2 to 35, even though, well, these guys have damage range too, but that's a huge amount of, like, this is like, the, the naval combat is very RNG based sometimes, let's just, let's just say that right now. Um, but it's a lot of fun, I actually, I actually like, I like it a lot. So we got like a little ship here, so we're gonna scout the coast with this guy, because we don't really want to make a barracks with this guy. But they do like a shit ton of damage when they get that one hit in, you know? Can I hockey buildings? Oh, dude, I totally can hockey buildings. We're gonna need a lot of workers here, though. Ah, that fucking should go. You can't set rally points or anything. The technology simply wasn't here yet. Actually, you couldn't even do rally points in Starcraft. They only did that, like, later. Oh, you can do movement ones. Oh, no, he's dead. Alright, uh, let's see, what do we have here? Alright, we got another one ready to work. Just try to get econ economy going. So, naval combat. It, the only problem with naval combat is you can't really do land invasions with it, which is like, most of these missions you're gonna find are basically gonna ask you to kill every building possible. Uh, we're gonna need lumber mill, because that's actually a texture requirement. We'll, we'll, we'll put it like up here somewhere. Whoops. A lumber mill is... L, of course. What an intuitive hotkey. So lumber mill is also somewhere they can return wood, which is one of the resources of this game. I, I don't know who hasn't played Warcraft 2, but uh... You fucking missed out if you did if you didn't if you don't have it. All right, Let's go take out this guy because he can't he can't attack my fucking. Can you can you attack him? There we go. Yeah, he can't do anything. We also have to build another farm. So it's actually kind of the reverse. It, it's the opposite of um. It's opposite of Starcraft in a way, because the gold, which is the the resource, is kind of like works like a Vespin geyser. It's the best comparison I can make for you, by the way. Uh, let's do. I want to make a shipyard because it's right beside the oil. Okay, I'm trying to find a good place on the coast. Uh, it's like right there. And apparently, we need more lumber. So the minute the minute you make a lumber mill, you also get plus twenty five bonus to lumber. I remember that much. Uh, there's a couple of things in this game that give you various bonuses, but yeah. Also, these critters. Uh, actually, I'm a little bit worried right now because I, I don't want to aggro some other ships. So we're gonna actually go all the way back around. Can I actually set rally points? No, I hold shift and this does nothing. It just goes to the latest one. I, you know, it's it's for me. It's a bit of a learning thing as well because I'm I'm trying to figure out what technologies they actually got at this point. You know, and apparently it's not a lot. Get this guy over here. But naval comments really fun. So we have a little. Obviously, you can see we have a little island here. You know, what was one of my favorite things to do actually in this game. I love to make. Um, I love to make little hovels inside the trees. You can do some Warcraft one as well. Then you put a bunch of range roots in there, and then like, you can't. You, nobody can do anything about it. They can't come to you. They have to go through the trees. Like you can make. You can create choke points if you. Uh, if you if you fucking like drill a hole kind of in these kind of things. I doubt very much we're going to do that, though. Uh, I don't think we need... Yeah, we're going to need more lumber, actually. So, actually, there's nothing else on this island that we need, so we're going to just kill this guy. We apparently need more lumber to make an oil platform. Go figure. But we're going to have to make a couple of ships, a couple of destroyers. Apparently, you need a lot of, uh, a lot of lumber for that. In fact, I should probably even get more lumber than that. And can, they're, they're, they can get oil as well. Okay, you're gonna go over here, you're gonna fucking... I don't know. Probably I should've made the lumber mill over here, actually. Oh, what? Like, what, why is he... He's like chopping the same one, and what the fuck? I had three people on this? Uh, how many peons do I have over here? Alright, well, I guess I'll just make another one or two. Apparently we just need a shit ton of lumber. Who would've thought? Lumber is one of those things that takes so long. Zug zug. Apparently nothing has like a increased cost for farms at all, so that's lucky for us, I guess. We're gonna need another farm though, definitely. Oh, no, this, this, this tree is triggering me here. I've got, I, that has to go first. So we can also upgrade things like uh, axes. So that's like that's like the equivalent of, I guess, like a, 
upgrading, um, like, engineering bay kind of upgrades kind of thing. Just kind of neat. Uh, it's its own game. It's just like, as I said, this is the predecessor of StarCraft. Right after this, they did StarCraft, so... It has a special place for me, as well. Because I did play this game also a lot, too. I'm just gonna make, like, a bunch of destroyers so I can do that. Apparently, we're gonna need to haul more oil, but... We only really need the one. I mean, we can make another guy to haul oil here, too, but yeah. I think, like, four will be enough. To just kill everything on the map. Alright, that, that creep is pissing me off. Okay, this guy's on a mission now. Fuck him up. Fuck the sheep. Oh, what? You didn't even one hit it? What are you good for? Alright, we need one more destroyer and then we can, uh, we can peace out. By the way, so yeah, we need to get oil to basically do any of the, the water stuff, but honestly, in most scenarios, you do not need to do naval. But I'm going to do a lot of it anyways, because I love the naval in this game so much. I have mentioned that, but yeah. Alright, let's go and uh, make some other shit. Ahoy! I remember playing this game when I was younger, and then like I had it on speakers. And my, my grandma loved it, because she was like, Ahoy means hello in, uh, in Czech. And she was like, she went fucking... Bunkers for that. I love that. She's like, are you are you playing a game in our language? I'm like, no. You're the captain. Yeah, actually, if you hear this game in Russian, it's also fucking hilarious. He's like El Capitan, something like that. Oh, uh, there's the Elven destroyers. But like I said, the damage range is so big. to fuck this guy up. We're gonna camp him. What? How have we not just, dude? This is tankier than all their military ships. Oh my god, this oil tanker is literally a tank. Okay, let's take out this, because uh, honestly our our entire goal at this point is just to take out these oil refiners so we can get our four oil platforms. It's honestly the only thing we're trying to do at this point. So do speed run tactics. Alright, this guy needs to get out of there. Alright. Hopefully there's gonna be nothing over here. Otherwise, this guy's dead. Actually, I have 90 HP, so... Can you go do what you're supposed to? Apparently, these things are really tanky. There we go. Alright, we're good. Now we can now, now we can go have fun and fucking grief the Terran. Uh, I, I just about, was about to call them the Terrans, but they're actually humans. You know, they take the, the lore in this game extremely seriously. Like, World of Warcraft apparently takes a bunch of shit that happened even in Warcraft 1, apparently. I, I don't... We're, you're not seeing World of Warcraft for me, though. Rip. But yeah, we're, this is the earliest we're gonna go for the kind of the Warcraft games, you know. And as soon as these are done, we're we're good to go. As I said, it has a lot of uh, history for me as well. So usually, most of the scenarios are like kill all the enemy buildings kind of thing. So luckily, we have the ones where we don't have to do that. Like, what what are my scenario objectives right now? If you build a shipyard and four four oil platforms. This is just like an introductory thing to the naval combat. Yeah, we should be done. Yeah, fuck yeah, we're done. Oh, I'm a peon now to camp. Probably because I've done more in one episode than yes. the Armada is well supplied with the precious black substance that your tankers have amassed, Doomhammer feels it is time to make a gruesome example of Hillsbrad. With the aid of new foundry sites that allow you to construct more advanced ships, you may build transports to deliver your forces across the channel to the cowering human settlement. All who oppose the Horde must be taught a harsh lesson. Leave no one alive. <laughs> a fucking voice, man. Alright. Uh, we need to get a... Right off the bat, we actually need a, a farm. But I'll just wait. I'll just wait until he brings one thing of gold in. No, m miss microing, guys. All right. So let's check out this island then. So I guess I don't know where they are. I I don't remember most of these scenarios to be honest. So uh, I it's I'm not saying this is a blind run, but I mean I've played it a lot, and I'll I'll get back in the hang of it. But do I remember the scenarios specifically? I do not. 
Work complete. I'm guessing they're actually going to invade by sea. I think the AI, I'm pretty sure that the AI is smart enough to do that, actually. So we're probably going to need a guard tower, too. You know, Ken played this without Falcon Board. Maybe I should do that, too. <laughs> Everything he does is better. Alright, I don't think there's really anything here. Yeah, it looks like this island is pretty much clear. Gerbu. Zugzug. We need more fucking peons, though. I'm doing the good old eco build. Alright, so we have one uh, oil platform over there that we can make. So usually what I like to do is I like to just weaken them uh, via... Uh, we're gonna, we need actually more gold. I like to weaken them by uh, C, and then I like to go in with ground. It's kind of once you fucking have like enough in terms of like uh, ground forces or sorry uh, sea forces, you can kind of just like camp their fucking their, their, their coastline, and then they can't do anything. They'll get most of their shit killed. I want to make a uh, I want to make a lumber mill next. Question is where to make that? Probably like over here. Can we make like a? We can make a tower now. Excellent. I don't. I don't know if we can upgrade that into anything, but let's just assume we can. And you can't attack workers while they're uh, working on shit as well. Yeah, that's something that they didn't put in the. Uh, well, you can't do that in this game at least. At least you can have people help build buildings. I think later that became like a, a trait of just one of the races. I think just the humans could do it. Uh, but right now, like humans and orcs are essentially the same. It's like the ultimate diversity, I guess, or whatever the fuck. It's funny as shit. <laughs> We're gonna make just a shit ton of peons so we don't we never have to worry about fucking labor ever again. Ready to work. Also the humor of the, the game, like they the the peasants especially, is fucking hilarious too, the way they did that as well. So I make the lumber mill first usually because I just I like that plus that bonus to lumber right away. But we're gonna need more uh, more shit for that. I think this should be enough to repel anything, but yeah, we're gonna need more forces eventually. Uh, let's see here. Actually, we're gonna need another farm first, so these guys need to finish. So I'm gonna just go around in circles to get to hear the voice over and over again. That 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 troll destroyers are pretty good too. Who wants to sing? Dabu the Orc Tribe. Dude, we have way too many guys on this fucking resource. Alright. We need to do more lumber. Uh shipyard requires a little bit more. Yeah, I, I fucking just overdo it with the, like, the gold economy, don't I? I wonder, is there any, like, caps for this kind of shit? I, I don't even know. Okay. Too, cannot build too close to a patch of oil. Alright. It's, it's onto my tricks. Alright, let's make another guy and let's make some watchtowers, actually. Because, like I said, they, they're around on the map and I think they'll eventually come after us. I'm probably gonna put one like over here as well, just so we can catch them coming from down up there too. Well, there's an oil patch there. We can, I think we can make foundries now, which is like a um, kind of like the lumber mill of oil. Ah, there you go. So you can make it into a guard tower. Guard towers are kind of nice. So I think they may drop it off there. They may drop it off somewhere else. Personally, I don't know. I'm not. All the all the all knowing Mike lot. I'm not canned, guys. You can't expect that from me. Like, how could I possibly meet the fucking high standards of YouTube when canned exists? 
Oh, uh, fucking 450 for it. Like, how much wood? It, this is more wood than it is, like, anything else. That's fine, though. Yeah, so, guard towers are insane. 20 armor, like, 6 to 16. I think armor in this game is basically, like, a, a straight... It's a flat damage reduction, I think. Don't don't quote me on that though, or or totally quote me on it if you want to need to be a uh, if you want to be a dick. All right, and this guy can be a guard tower. All right, so we have here we go refinery and well refinery. I guess well, I guess foundry doesn't do. Uh, I guess foundry's upgrades actually. It's oil refinery that that we can do. So we can have an oil refinery here to get that, which may not be a bad idea because we'll get more oil per. Uh, thing. So maybe that's something good to invest in early. See, so yeah, that's me thinking with economy. So we'll make it like right there in the corner there, because I think I'll boost that up as well, and then we can. Uh, we also gonna get myself some more, uh, some more peons. Shit, we're just gonna fucking like clear cut this forest, aren't we? Make way for the horde, motherfucker. All right, you're gonna make it a found foundry. I hope we get some good ships though. Ah, there you go. These guard towers should be enough of an early warning system. I don't think we're going to need any more oil than that. Or maybe we will. Actually, we totally were going to need more oil than that. The thing is that we don't even have to make another platform because we have a platform right here. It's a perfectly good platform as well. We just have two people working on the same one. In fact, you can have, like, infinite. Because uh, do you see how, like, they just kind of go in? It doesn't matter. I guess the same applies to the gold mine, doesn't it? I guess... The only problem becomes when they start, like, overlapping over each other kind of a thing. There you go. Now we're getting more oil out of every, uh, thing. I don't think we want anything else here. We're gonna go back to the gold mine. Oh yeah, oh yeah, all we can make is transports. Actually, it's dog shit, never mind. Kinda of forgot about that. Thought we'd get, like, some decent ships, but no. No, we get those. Actually, we need a barracks. Should actually make that right now. So we're gonna go make a good like uh, six or something for Don't these fucking the ships. ships, and we'll see how much we need in terms of ground forces. Ahoy! Ahoy! You're the Ahoy. Ahoy! Oh, here we go. We got some cannons. Damage plus five and armor plus five. Okay, I want damage, but we need more gold. We need some gold, bitches. Look at these fucking guys. These hardworking peons. I made you. I would love to. The upgrades are actually not bad. All right, I'm gonna make this guy probably get it, go onto wood when he comes out. Okay, get the fuck on. Sorry, no, the opposite of wood. You know, the other thing that isn't wood. All right, we need another. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, you can make a you can make a farm. The, the legendary orc farms of finding accents. All right, here we go. We're pretty good. Actually, we don't, we don't really need that much more lumber, do we? We need economy, guys. But yeah, we're going to leave it up here before my attack, so uh, yeah, so thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.